why do i even need a boot camp it is so expensive how do i even know that i can't do this on my own i don't know if you're going to teach me what i really need but i need to learn how to code hi my name is susan and today i want to show you guys some of the things that you want to consider before choosing a coding bootcamp as you can see some of the questions that the lady that's obviously not me was asking is definitely some of the questions that are on the mind of a lot of people before deciding whether to join a bootcamp or not so a coding bootcamp is a place where people can learn the fundamental and the most important aspects of coding that you can apply to solve real world problems so that's why a lot of people go Go there to jumpstart their programming career especially when they're looking for like a quick way to get started in the tech space now a couple of very popular coding programs include general assembly brainstation platteron app academy i think there's hack reactor as well there are quite a number of them in the us and canada in nigeria i believe that there are also some coding boot camps like university there's andela andela used to have a coding boot camp but i don't know if that's still you know is a thing and yeah quite a number decagon as well is a coding bootcamp in nigeria in the u.s the tuition for this coding bootcamp ranges from somewhere between three thousand dollars to thirty thousand dollars and they are typically about 15 weeks long research has shown that there's an increasing number of graduates from coding boot camps year after year and so it's pretty obvious that these boot camps are not going anywhere anytime soon however before starting a coding boot camp i think that there are some important things that you need to keep in mind there are some important factors that influences that decision you know whether it's that do you even need a coding boot camp in the first place what kind of coding boot camp is important for you to actually reach your goals you know these are some things that you need to ask yourself now the first thing that you need to keep in mind is your level of discipline what's your level of discipline like are you someone that is a self-starter are you self-motivated can you do things on your own without anyone you know without any form of accountability can you reach your goals yourself without someone having to you know kind of monitor you so what's that like for you i think this is very important in deciding whether you need a boot camp or not if you know that you're someone that can do all these things yourself then by all means i honestly suggest that you do not go to a boot camp just take a course go through it uh, make sure that you're following through ask questions when you need help this is something you can definitely do on your own you do not need a boot camp however if you know that this is not you if you know that you kind of enjoy being told what to do you enjoy being supported you probably have been struggling with learning how to code for the past year or two then I highly suggest that you consider doing a bootcamp like you're better off doing a part-time course in a bootcamp and learning all you need to learn within six months and securing a job right as opposed to you know struggling on your own and still not being able to meet your goals so yeah it depends on how this applies to you in terms of discipline another part of this is the fact that you get to see other people struggle when you're in a boot camp like most people are also there because they are trying to learn and they're trying to you know learn the basic coding skills some people already come experienced but not in most cases most people in a coding boot camp do not actually have a lot of experience you know so you get to see more people actually struggle as opposed to when you're on your own and you are basically struggling alone misery loves company right so this is a perk of doing a boot camp another factor you need to consider is do you have time to put in the work like how into this how committed to this are you are you ready to put in the work on your own and the reason that you need to consider this is because in most coding boot camps nobody actually spoon feeds you like you can be given resources to go read up you can people can answer your questions but nobody actually tells you step by step exactly what to do at every single point in time you would have to do a lot of research on your own you have to figure out a lot of stuff on your own so this is something that as much as it's great because it gives you a bit of structure as to what to learn how to go about learning it it does not exactly tell you you know what to do at every second so you would need to figure out stuff on your own so is this something you're willing to do as well you know this is something you want to keep in mind now this part is important guys because it's about learning and i keep emphasizing and i see in a lot of my videos that people learn in different ways and being able to identify how the way that you learn 
right that gives you the most value is very very important and if you're learning in a way that doesn't really help you it's not worth investing that much money into so in the case of a boot camp i would suggest that you call the school call the boot camp try to find out what their pattern of learning is if it's something that is going to help you if it's something that you know that you're going to comprehend you know learning this style of learning whatever it is then go for it but if it's not then i suggest looking for a different boot camp because different boot camps have their different patterns of you know teaching so make sure that you do this because it's very important you don't want to waste 30k 15k and you do not really get much out of it right so yeah the fourth thing is the location now how close is this place to you are you going to have to commute you know every day do you need to relocate temporarily to a particular location just for the boot camp these are definitely things that you want to keep in mind because this would definitely affect how you decide to deal with it if you would have to choose a different boot camp because of the location things like that would come to play so the next thing is how realistic is this for you and i think that this is something you really need to think about deeply the first parts that i'm going to mention in terms of how realistic this is for you is about the cost boot camps are not cheap like i mentioned earlier it's literally an investment so you need to be sure that you're willing to um like you have you can afford to do this now the first part in terms of the cost is i mean if you're someone that your parents can give you this money without batting an eyelid then hey congratulations that's the dream right like you don't have to stress yourself at all but if that's not your case if this means you have to work while doing this boot camp so maybe doing a part-time boot camp or you probably need to save six months ahead so that you can commit fully to this bootcamp without any extra commitment at work so yeah you might want to consider doing this you might want to consider saving you know before going ahead to start the bootcamp the other part to this is how does this affect your daily routine how does how does this affect your family if you are someone with kids with a wife with a husband how does this affect you right so i think this is something you want to factor in if a boot camp is promising you that they're going to teach you everything you need to know within four weeks then you probably know that this is going to be a stretch you're going to be working nights you're going to you know have to put a lot of your time into this you might be missing some family events or some of your kids um stuff at school so this is something you want to think ahead about if this means for you that you might want to take the longer route maybe instead of doing a four-week bootcamp do a 12 week 12 week bootcamp you know so that you can still have time for things outside you know the coding would come then yeah that's a good plan also this could also mean just letting your family know ahead of time that the next four weeks are going to be brutal so you guys should just you know give me this time so that i can put my all into this well some other things might have to suffer but you know it's important to let them know ahead of time also if you're not a family person this could affect like your other routines maybe you do some things every day that you might need to cut back on you know just these are just some things that you need to keep in mind you either want to prepare your mind to sacrifice these things or do a longer paced program so that these things do not have to suffer Make sense? So another thing to keep in mind is financing this bootcamp. Like I mentioned before, the bootcamps are not cheap, right? So, but the good thing is that, especially for the ones in the US, there are a couple of options that are available, you know, for anyone that is looking to do a bootcamp. So for example, you would have some people actually um, pay for the bootcamp after they've secured a job, which is pretty awesome, right? So if you, don't have a job even after you know doing the bootcamp you do not have to pay until you get a job some would literally even go as far as making sure that you have a job that meets a particular like there's a minimum that you have to be making in that job to pay back so for example if the minimum is seventy thousand dollars for example and you get a job that pays you 50k you don't have to pay back that money <laughs> as a then right so basically um, these are some of the things that are available so for some people they will do something called income sharing where you would pay back the money right as you get your salary you will be paying back the money every month for a period of time so it could be two years three years until you pay back the entire money so it's like you know students loan basically how students loan you know works where you pay back the money you know 
after you've gotten your job or whatever so yeah like these are some of the options available some people are also um are lucky to work in a company that would actually be happy to sponsor the coding bootcamp so maybe that could be paying half or a quarter of the um fees of the tuition fees of the coding bootcamp so yeah these are some of the options available for financing so yeah with these financing options come the need to do like background checks to be sure that you have not defaulted on a loan before and things like that so credits history checks as well these are some things that you would find for some of the coding bootcamps finally and most importantly is the need to get information about the coding bootcamp there are different ways you can do this right you can ask prior like people that have gone through the coding bootcamp before you can call the school and ask for the curriculum so that you can look through some of the things that you've been learning in coding bootcamp so that if it's something you're already familiar with you don't have to waste your time you know you can another key thing you need to find out is what's the ratio like what's the how how people are getting jobs after the coding bootcamp like so are 80 percent of the people getting jobs after coding bootcamp is there support for is there support for people that go through the coding bootcamp to actually get jobs afterwards like these are definitely things you want to keep in mind right so that you don't just waste your money and your time so get this information before joining you know any coding bootcamp do your research as well and yeah so i think these are some of the factors that you want to keep in mind before joining any coding bootcamp before making the decision to either go through the coding bootcamp route or do the self-learning as a self-taught you know <laughs> do this go through the self-learning learning route right so before making either decisions or taking a decision you know to even specifically choose the coding bootcamp i think that you need to find out this you know do your research and make sure that you're investing your time and your money wisely and yeah that's all i have for you on this video i hope you learned something my name is susan and i talk about tech faith and lifestyle topics on this channel if you are yet to subscribe i encourage you to do so and i will see you in the next video bye